actually in reality there is a minimum amount of air pressure that's required to run this engine and and I've just about reached that point of it, it can't if I turn the air down any lower it'll quit running so this is about the lowest rpm that I can run this engine at oh, I'm happy with it and, and the more the more it runs the better it runs it's just a little freelance engine you know Before we get to this little steam engine right here, it's Shop Dog Sam over yonder on the east coast of Arkansas. It's the radio show. Hey, I'm going to tell you all about this steam engine right here. But first, uh, the little, uh, I'm going to throw this in here on this video. Do you all see right over in yonder? I'm going to point it out to you. Do, 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 uh... Y'all see that little monkey over there? The monkey is not missing anymore. He was up here. He was up at the top of this. He was up in here. And I was doing something. And he, he fell. It was one of those Newton. It was. It had to happen. And anyways, he fell. And he was lost. And I found him today. I know it took a long time to tell that. But right there, the little fella is. And, and I'm, I fished him up out of there. I'm going to put him back up yonder on his perch, where he has been for several years. Okay. Uh, I, I'll show it. I'll show it to y'all after a while where he's at. But first, it's this steam engine right here. This is the main thing. And and I and I tell you what, if you're going to build one of these, uh, do not build it like I did. And that's the reason I'm going to do this here to give you some pointers so you won't go wrong. The, the the reason for this video is uh, one time I had a job I worked for somebody and and they put in some cabinets and these they come with three sets of door fronts and this is the set that the customer didn't he didn't want these and they throw them out to the trash I brought them home I think there were six of them and I built the engine on all of those door fronts you know waste not want not and and I just come home and laid them up. Uh, and waiting for the opportunity. Okay, uh, some days some days went by, and I disassembled this. Yeah, do do y'all do 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 you see this red thing right here? That's the flywheel, and, and that came out of some kind of record player. Don't ask me what kind it was. It was just a piece of electrical equipment that I took apart. And you see that little bearing housing, and it goes all the way through. This this bar stock here is aluminum. It's quarter inch thick, one inch wide like that, and it was a bar, a big long thing. Yeah, I got it somewhere. Somebody gave it to me. It come out of a copy machine. It was Army Surplus, and, and I should not have used that. It was a bad choice. It had some kind of armor plate on the outside of it. I like to never got it polished up, but once I did, the material is probably, I mean, it's it's Army uh, approved, the material is, but, but in this piece right here the, the the rotating and this thing moves it goes up and down like that right there and this right here came out of a CB radio antenna mount it's hex and, and I used it there no, well you know waste not want not and this was about a foot long piece of brass tubing and, and and I just drilled that out to whatever it took to silver solder that in there put that in there and now I've got to pivot with a flat side and a cylinder the next thing I did is this right here is a piece of uh, stainless steel uh, I don't know it's just bar stock you know uh, probably uh, I got it in some jewelry making equipment one time it's it's a real good grade of stainless steel and I just turned the aluminum piston to fit up on yonder and I stuck it up in there and it's got a uh, two grooves on it with some sewing thread in there and I just oil it real good and I oil it right here okay let's do that let's just oil her up and it, and it would be right in here on that pivot right there and then I would I actually would turn it upside down but I would order that cylinder sleeve in there and and there's a little small hole in there that that moves on that set screw there and it's got a adjustable crankshaft on it put a little oil in there and a little oil in there 
that's good to go. And, and, and it's like any other project out there. It's like any project that you're going to be doing. It's uh, As always, it's never finished. And I may do that next week. If I do, I'll bring you an update on that. It needs a little container right here, a little brass. Just a simple turning on the lathe with a hole in the back and a piece of copper to come over here. So that this, uh, if you was running on steam, you would have a lot of... Th this is... Uh, it's, it's a total waste system on the steam. It just goes to the atmosphere. It's already used up. So it needs a little bucket there so that it don't puddle up here. I'm going to run it on air. We're going to run the little engine. I know it, it's, it's, and this was a piece of bar stock right in there. And I just turned it with a thread on the other end and put a little, milled a little gap in there. And I built this on that Sureline lathe. This right here was totally built on the Sureline whole complete thing. Everything you see there was built on that. Oh, that's a wonderful little machine. I'm going to turn some air to it. it it's been long enough. And, and i tell you something else, too. A uh, fact, any of these little steam engines are run extremely fast. The, 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 the problem and what you're trying to achieve is a slow-running engine. Very slow. Okay? The uh, I'm going to turn that air down. Uh, quite a bit. A any engine to run like that. Okay, let's set it about right there. Actually, it needs a little more. We, we want this engine to run very, 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 very slow. Okay, in a steam engine, that, that right there is what, what you're, that's Actually, that's a little fast, and and you just keep regulating the air uh, to where that you get it at such a low RPM, and this engine will run like this all day long. And and, and the the bore and the stroke, you, you know, I didn't give it two thoughts. I just worked with what I had, and this is what we got: a nice running, a very nice running little steam engine. And the bearing assembly in this tape player flywheel is ready made. You know, it's extremely high quality bearing. I did have to buy some I did have to buy some eighth inch air line to make the tube make the air system out of and it runs much better on steam. Uh, I'm just gonna leave this with you for evaluation, comments. Uh, from here on the East Coast Arkansas, the little steam engine homemade, hand-built. Now, this right here would be a beam-type engine. Y'all leave comments now. Th this would be referred to as a freelance engine. Uh, you actually can build one of these in one afternoon, one evening. Just draw you out a couple of little sketch or two. You actually need something to work with. With the material you got, measure it up and work with what you got. Leave a comment, Shop Dog Sam. The uh, update on that little monkey. Uh, he is the, the the little monkey back and 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 uh, back to his perch right up there. Uh, <laughs> all is well here on the East Coast, Arkansas. Shop dog Sam. Encouragement, just a verification that you can get it done.